today we're going to be working on something called a concept map in our class. Um, it's going to be a two-day project. Um, but before I start, I want to find out, does anybody know what a concept map is? Or have you made a concept map in another class? Okay, take that as no. <laughs> okay, so let's break down the words. So I have concept. Uh, we'll try and figure out the meaning of this project together. So what is a concept? Does anybody know that? Josh? An idea. An idea. Excellent. So we're going to take an idea, and then we're going to make a map with those ideas. What's a map? Alexi? Like, like the layout of something. Okay, layout. Tells us how to get from one point to another, maybe, right? And a map, if you think, if you ever use a map on it going on a trip. Uh, well, let's think about that um, in this perspective. Let's pretend that we are trying to make a map. Our idea is to get somebody from Straub to our house. So we're going to take the idea of going home, and we're going to give them directions. <clears throat> if you think about that, is there only one way to get to your house if we started at Straub Middle School? No. 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 Correct. There may be a usual route that you take, but I could end up on Lancaster. Go over the bridge and end up on Lancaster and really make an extensive route, and I could still get home. may not be what I'd usually do, but I could do that. Okay, so I'm going to tell you that when we make a concept map, we're going to take ideas that we've been working on in our Chapter 3 book. We have 24 concepts or ideas, and we're going to organize those to make a map or to give some direction or guidance as we move throughout all these vocabulary words <clears throat> to tell somebody their meaning and a route as we're moving across a poster that we're going to make. Is there one right way then to make a concept map? No. So what I would recommend is that you take the words and put them into piles according to things that they share, okay, things that are alike. And that's just one suggestion. You may organize these into your concept map any way um, that your group comes up with. So for example, I pulled out three cards. Um, I did equation, variable, and solution. And so what you're going to do is something similar to this on chart paper. And you put the vocabulary word in a box, um, provide an example for each vocabulary word that you're given. Identify um, with arrows and words um, how these two vocabulary words or concepts are connected. Yeah, start with the one that goes with everything, like continuous. Okay. Yeah. And then connect. So we've grouped these all together because when you do an equation, there's always a solution, a variable, and when you first get it, you have to simplify it. Our equation, graph, and then have Okay, so you guys have spent the last two days working on concept maps. I'm using 24 vocabulary words from the Chapter 3 um, math textbook that we've been working in. And today we're going to summarize and um, conclude that project by partaking in something called a gallery walk. So this is what you are responsible for doing.